In this video, we're going to quickly jump into the performance differences between the Lenovo Legion Slim 7 and the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus M16. You can see the specs coming up on the screen now for each of the laptops, so you know what we'll be comparing here in this video. Now, first and foremost, in regards to battery life, I was actually surprised to see that because of the Asus Armory Crate, we're getting better battery life out of the M16 by about 30 minutes to an hour on each of the tests. So it's not a substantial difference enough to say, hey, you should definitely choose the M16 over the Slim 7 based on battery life alone. I think they both have good battery life and tweaking each one may give you better or worse results. So you'll just have to fine tune it if you decide to purchase each one. But to me, it wasn't a substantial enough difference to split hairs and say, you better go with this one over this one. Now, in regards to thermal performance, I was actually surprised to see that they both had really good thermal performance. Historically, Ryzen has shown to have worse thermal performance than Intel. But here in this video, the max thermal result I saw out of the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim was 82 degrees Celsius. Whereas the max thermal result out of the M16 was 86 degrees Celsius. So we're actually seeing a slightly warmer laptop in the M16 than we are the Slim 7. So what up Ryzen? Coming through, cooling really well in the Legion series. Pretty good results, especially since the laptop is a little bit thinner than the M16, which is really cool to see. Now, in regards to the screens, they both have really good color accuracy, but the M16 actually has slightly better color accuracy than the Slim 7. So if you're looking for a color gamut range and color accuracy and even screen brightness, you're going to get a better panel on the Asus compared to the Legion laptop. Now, a quick note as far as ports and connectivity is concerned, I actually like the Slim 7 better. Reason being is you actually have a full-size SD card slot as opposed to the micro SD card slot on the M16. In regards to the webcams, here's a quick visual and audio sample so you can see which one you like better. Here is the webcam on the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus M16 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Slim 7 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Both come with downward facing speakers and here's a quick audio sample of the speakers so you can hear the difference there as well. Now jumping into the Geekbench single core and multi-core performance, you can see that the M16 outperforms the Slim 7. Moving on into Cinebench R20, once again, the M16 is topping the charts and the Slim 7 is coming in behind it. Moving on to Cinebench R23, single core and multi-core, once again, we're seeing the M16 dominate above the Slim 7. But let's get into the real world benchmarks. I think that is where we can actually see what these two laptops are capable of and we'll see what kind of performance we get in actual programs. Starting out in Blender Classroom, you can see that the Legion Slim 7 actually outperforms the M16 in Blender by about 70 points. So pretty cool to see that actually once you enter a program, the Slim 7 has more than enough power to keep up and even outperform the M16 in Blender. Moving on to Autodesk 3ds Max, you can see that they are neck and neck. The M16 scoring a 214 and the Slim 7 a 204. Moving on to Autodesk Maya, the M16 started to pull away a little bit with a 238 on the Slim 7 versus the 279 on the M16. But as we move on to PTC Creo, we're topping the charts with the Slim 7 at 210 versus the 203 in the M16. Now, lastly, the deciding factor for me is, are you going to be a SolidWorks user? And if you are, without a doubt, I would choose the Slim 7 over the M16. It's just a better performing laptop. The RX 
6800S, the Radeon GPUs are better than the RTX NVIDIA GPUs in SOLIDWORKS. For some reason, they just optimized better for that specific program. Moving on to Photoshop, it really was a close competition-ish, 100 points difference. You have a 927 out of the Slim 7 and a 1036 out of the M16. Anything above a 700, in my opinion, is great for Photoshop. So being that these are both above 900, you're gonna be fine in Photoshop with either laptop. Now checking out After Effects, it was quite a bit of a difference here, about 125 points difference. So the better After Effects laptop will be the M16. I think the Slim 7 will still do very well, but if you are a big After Effects user, then it would benefit you to go with the M16. Now moving on to video editing playback. So we're looking at 4K, 6K B-RAW, and 6K RED charts for each of these laptops. You can see that you're gonna get better performance performance out of the M16. You only have 148 drop frames in B-RAW and then 1,441 in red footage compared to the Slim 7, which comes with 788 in B-RAW and then 4,304 in red footage. Both will be great for 4K, but as far as 6K is concerned, the M16 is gonna be the better performer in this situation. Now, moving on to the Premiere Pro 4K export time, you're gonna see the different laptops up on the screen. You can see it was a three minute and nine second export out of the Slim 7 and a two minute and 57 second export out of the M16. Very close, we're splitting hairs here. If we're gonna say one is better for 4K, especially that they both have zero drop frames. So for 4K, I would go with either one. As we move on to 6K B-RAW export out of Premiere Pro, you can see the M16 scores a 15 minute and 41 second export compared to the 17 minute and 53 second export out of the Slim 7. So about a two minute difference. And this is a nine minute 6K clip. So you can imagine if you extrapolate that over uh, up to an hour, it's gonna be an extra 12 or so minutes to export that footage. So keep in mind um, that you're gonna have better results from the M16, especially in regards to that playback. Now, in regards to DaVinci Resolve, about a one minute difference between the two here, you can see 631 versus 517. Both will have good playback in DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is well optimized for these laptops with dedicated GPUs, but you'll see that the export time is gonna be better on the M16. So which one should you choose, the M16 or the Slim 7? First, before we move forward, we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel by Christmas, so make some dreams come true. Take the tiny bit of effort hit that subscribe button and help us get there by Christmas. We greatly appreciate it. It would be a dream come true for us here on the Benji Kaiser channel. But as far as which one you should pick, so I'm gonna bring you some value. You can help us here. I would personally go for the M16 if I am looking towards 6K video editing. It has the performance that you need. It still runs cool and quiet. It still has great battery life. Uh, but if you're looking uh, for something more along the lines of 3D modeling, specifically SolidWorks, then the Slim 7 really stands out because of the RX GPU, the Radeon, the AMD Radeon GPU. Both punch for punch are gonna be great for graphic design, uh, photography, digital art. They both have good quality screens. The M16 is a slightly better quality screen. Um, and then of course, looking at ports. If you're a photographer or a 4K video editor, um, then this SD card slot is fantastic. So I would choose the Slim 7 if I'm like a 4K video editor or photographer, because that's just super convenient. Whereas if you're shooting like red footage or B-RAW, I mean, you're gonna go in through USB type C because you're usually using like large drives. You're not using SD cards in those type of cameras. Um, so that's where the M16 would be totally fine. And it is better for 6K footage anyway. As far as motion graphics is concerned, something like After Effects, I would push you towards the M16. Punch for punch, my favorite laptop between the two is gonna be the Slim 7. It's gonna be thinner, it's gonna be lighter. It's a little more professional look than the Zephyrus. The Zephyrus is much more of a gaming laptop. This has a much more professional uh, approach and appearance than the M60. So if I was personally buying the laptop, I would be a Legion 7 Slim fanboy, but that's just me. Subscribe for 100K by Christmas. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase and likes in this video has brought you some value. I'll see you here in the next one.